Hello everyone. Uh, I went to the fabric store just now and they did have a bag of damaged items in there. Uh, they really did a good job of damaging out items this time. They Anything that was glass or porcelain or whatever, they made sure they broke. Um, and then the rest of it they threw in a garbage bag and um, opened a bottle of Mod Podge and spray painted everything in there and dumped that Mod Podge in there and there was also a bag of like uh, sand or something that was in there so this was a mess to dig through uh, I took my time I seen what I could find what I could salvage um, the Mod Podge was still wet so I could wash it off a lot of things or if it was in the package uh, I just took it out of the package to make it easier for me <laughs> so I'll start at this end as you can see uh, they spray painted this looks like a birdhouse I'm not sure they fill in little pieces in there maybe the other one's missing but I have more uh, dowel rods that I can stick in there and just paint it back up and then these are in this bag because their container was covered in spray paint and Mod Podge but these are like a 3D fabric paint, like a puffer paint for fabrics. So that's pretty cool. And this was in there. The flower pot on it was broken, but they did spray paint some. So I'm going to see maybe I can get it off or paint over it or something. Uh, if you guys have any ideas how to get that off of there, let me know. I will give them a try. Maybe a uh, nail polish remover? I'm not sure. Uh, but like I said, I'm, worth, I'm willing to give it a try. And this was in there. It's a sea salt and driftwood. Uh, these little sticks go do it. You open it up and you stick the sticks in there. It's like an uh, oil thing, an aroma oil type thing. I'm not sure. You can see the bottle's leaking. And it was leaking on the package. But I think it was just the way it was in there. I think the seal maybe is broken on there somewhere because it's not leaking out the bottom. Um, and then next there was a couple of Valentine's things in there. There were uh, only two Easter items in there, and they were some bunnies that I already have, and their ears were broken off, and they were covered in spray paint and Mod Podge, so I just left them be and threw them away. But there's these little felt stickers of all these different uh, styles of sticker in there, and then there were two rolls of uh, ribbon that have a plastic wrapper on there. You can see they spray painted that, but the ribbon is fine. So I'll save those and use them in my crafting. There are these little cardboard pineapple cutouts. You can see they still have some glue on them. I'll have to take them out of the package. And there are these sew-on snaps, which I actually was just trying to figure out if I should buy these or not because I have a few projects that I could use those for. And the next thing is this flexible plush mold. Uh, it's like flowers. Uh, I thought about maybe using it for wax melts, but they're not very big. So I'm not sure, maybe clay or something like that. I'll have to look into it. I'm not sure, maybe it's for epoxy or something. And this bag of yarn was in there. I don't know, it was a jumbled mess. It was in this bag that they spray painted, but the yarn is just fine. I'll give that to my mother-in-law. She loves to uh, crochet and knit and also this ball of yarn that's really heavy actually for yarn. Um, I'll see if she wants either one of those. And then next in there was this uh, Jojo Siwa ribbon maker. It comes with like the little rhinestones, all the little pieces to make the ribbons, and then all the ribbon material. So my nieces can make their own ribbons now, or hair bows. And then uh, the 725 Heavy Duty Wonder Underfacing um, uh, for quilting and things like that. Um, I have just begun, I've only made about two small quilts and I haven't used this for either one of them so I'm not sure if I will be able to use that or not. If not, I'll find somebody who can. And there were three candles in there, I could only get to two. And there was also another one of those white bird wind chimes that they had spray painted and cut all the uh, pieces off and 
they had gotten a new roof put on during this time and all of the dumpsters behind there were full of the cardboard from the uh, roofing material. So it was really difficult to get anything. Luckily this bag was sitting right on top and these cans were too, but there were two of these candles. Uh, the jars were broken. I'm not sure exactly. They kind of smell like cinnamon, but they kind of smell fruity. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. I'll have to figure it out. But another pack of jars, canning jars. <laughs> I said there would be more, and look at that, there's more. It looks like only one is missing, or it's broken in there. Uh, the package is still sealed really well. So, I'm not sure. But I will use these again. Either uh, use them for my crafting, see if anybody needs them for canning, and do with it. And then the last thing I found was, uh, I seen this box in there, and I thought, oh, that's cool, it's not even open. Which, this one is still in the box and sealed and ready to go. I opened the box to make sure, and then this set was in there in all the Mod Podge, and you can see the sand that's kind of stuck on there. I'm not sure if that light is always on as long as the headphones are in there, but uh, if I can get it open one-handed, the headphones are in there. My kids love these things, so now they each have a pair. I don't have to worry about them fighting over them either. So I just wanted to come on and show you guys a quick view. Uh, this is all from the one store, the one fabric store. I didn't get to check the B.L, which is my other local store. Sorry about that sound, my neighbor's out. Um, there was a truck had just pulled in and the guy was getting out to go in and let him know that he was there to unload. So I didn't check. I didn't want to get caught. I get a lot of good things from there and I don't want them to start destroying it. Uh, this store, they get a lot of divers. Usually I see other divers at the store when I go. So that could be why I haven't found anything or maybe they just haven't thrown any of the Easter. I think they haven't thrown any of the Easter out yet because I haven't seen even a scrap of Easter stuff until today in that bag with this. Oh, maybe they're holding out because some stores are starting to open back up and they're hoping they can sell most of it off real quick. So, but here is my haul. Thank you for watching and if you liked it, please subscribe and or hit the like button. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still hot from digging through this bag. If you like the video, please hit the like button, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Uh, sorry about the background today. This is my garage. We work a lot in here. As you can see, we're in Michigan. We have the Detroit Lions table, which I spent about a week painting all of these little emblems on there, and the line in the middle, and then we epoxied it. So we like doing our crafts and our projects and building, and uh, so maybe you'll see some of that in the future. But Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.